In the book of Revelation, there was a story of a John which saw a vision of the future. And that vision that he saw was exactly at the time that we are in right now. And he was so shocked by the vision that he saw, like the destruction of humanity, the struggles, the challenges that humanity went through, that he asked the being, the angel which was with him in that vision, like why it is happening, what is going on, and that being answered to him, man created destruction, and it was kind of interesting to him, so he asked, asked him if there is a hope for humanity then, and that being answered, there is always a hope for those for whom heaven and earth are made for. So this story is kind of interesting because we are right now facing with exactly that. Not that everything is falling apart, like humanity and everything, but all the systems are falling apart. We can see the protests, which can be the byproduct of the wrong intention of people which wanted to control something which can't be controlled. We can't control nothing outside of us. And when we are trying to control, for example, a human being, sooner or later, that human being will start reflecting to us the intention that we had when we wanted to control him. So we need to understand that it's all about our intention, what we are putting out. And when a collective mind has a certain intention, sooner or later there will appear another collective mind which will have the op opposite intention of it. And we can experience a war between these two minds. And war is not the answer. It is just the reflection of what we are sending out. So we need to understand that actually we are creating everything. We are the creators. And when we understand that we truly can't control nothing else but ourselves, our minds, our states of being, and how we are reacting to what is happening. So it's truly powerful when we become aware that the only thing that we can truly control is how we are reacting to the things that are happening around us. We can find out, well, if I have this reaction in control, why would I react with hate and fear why would that I create even bigger separation? We are already obviously separated. So when a person becomes aware of that true power, the power of intention, the power of the mind, that person becomes aware, well, if I have that power, then you have the power as well. And another person beside like all of us have that power so what if we could create something beautiful with it like most of the times we are lost and distracted by everything that is happening around us so we are forgetting who we truly are like the infinite consciousness be behind all the layers of identities which like kind of tries to to explain who who you are like I'm doing this that's my name and like that and so on but but actually we are much more than that we are capable of much more than that we are forgetting about it because we are distracted by everything that is happening so I'm always saying to you you need to creatively express yourself because that's how you're finding out who you truly are by creative expression I mean we need to have some fun, we need to do what we love, and we need to express that love. Because by doing that, we are not 
intentionally destroying things, but we are actually creating something beautiful. So I love to go out in the nature because that's how I remind myself who I truly am. I'm becoming more and more inspired by nature and by the force that I feel within me, by inner dimension. You know, I'm not looking what is happening in the world, but I always see that there's something wrong and it's up to us what we will do. So I truly don't think that any protests can solve a problem, but I think that each individual holds inside a solution for each problem. And that solution is to become a change that you wish to see on the world. If you want to see more wars, more fights, more problems, more challenges, then go into the war. But if you truly want to see more connection, more compassion, more love, more, more art, then you need to become it. We need to become it. We need to become that change. And it's a powerful realization because in the previous video I was explaining to you more stages of awakening. And the first stage of awakening is when we realize that we are not the victims of environment. That actually everything is happening for us, not to us. When we find out that we are not the victims of environment, we ask ourselves, well, if I'm, a not, if I'm not a victim, why all those things are happening for me? What can I learn from those things? And those questions will lead us to another awakening. We will find out, well, that was my thoughts, my intention. I was not treating myself well. I can add some changes here and there. Maybe I can educate myself a little bit about myself, about the power of the mind, about the, you know, the body, how the body works, how the brain works. And it's really powerful. So don't be afraid of what is happening right now because you have the power to change the situation. All the power is within you. And as I mentioned before, the stages of awakening, when we are moving through the st stages, the second stage of awakening is finding out that we are actually creating the reality, you know, mind over matter, thoughts matter. When we find that out and we, when we start manifesting things, we also find out that it's not all about manifesting, it's also about adding the value for humanity. So it's another powerful realization and when we figure that out it's it's another awakening. So I want to remind you with that to become more aware what is happening within you right now. When we are observing all those things you know our environment the things that are going on right now. Truly become aware how you are reacting to it. Are you reacting with fear, with anger, or are you becoming a wiser person because of that? Like, when we can see such a separation between individuals Sooner or later we will start figuring out how to connect us, how to become more connected. And that will be another stage of awakening, because we will find out that we are actually here on a mission. Each of us is here on a certain mission, and we need to find out what is our mission. What is your mission? What is my mission? Every single individual needs to find out what is your mission here and that will be another awakening and then another awakening will be how can I improve the world with my mission so just look one more time deep inside you 
How can you improve the world with your mission? Because we need you right now. We need your gift, your uniqueness. It is within you. It is within you, my friend. Don't be afraid to share it. Most people are afraid of sharing their gifts. They're afraid of judging. But the world needs your gift, truly. Share some love, some light. Be creative with it, because that's how you are growing, you know, by expressing ourselves, we are growing and we are learning more about ourselves. Who we truly are and our potentials, like, we don't even know what are our potentials. We know a little bit, yes, my thoughts are really powerful, mind, and I can think, I can choose thoughts, and I can elevate emotions, I can meditate and manifest things. We all know that. But what about deeper potentials, bigger potentials, about self-healing, you know, improving your immune system by your thoughts, maybe healing others, maybe... Who, who knows? We need to research that, we need to educate ourselves about that, because, like... Nobody is teaching us that. You, you will not find it out in school or in news. Nobody is talking about that. We need to educate ourselves about that because that's our power. And I want to remind you to truly educate yourself about yourself. Because we truly don't know much about ourselves. And that vision of John from the book of Revelation it's powerful because it can remind us that because we don't know ourselves we are going into directions which we rather would not experience if we would just know ourselves better we would understand that our mind is powerful and we are actually creating reality if we are actually creating the reality then would you choose more wisely how you're thinking, where you're paying your attention, how you're feeling emotionally? Because it truly matters how you're feeling. Are you working on yourself? Like we all know working out, going into the gym, making sure about that your body looks right and so on. We know that. But what about your mind? Are you improving that? Are you like taking care about improving your perception of reality. Are you even aware of your perception? The way how you see the world, the stories about you, about how you think that the world works. It's all made up by us and we can all change it. So we truly need to pay more attention to that knowledge so we can change the world. When we learn more about ourselves, we will find out that we are incredible creators. There is no need for wars, there is no need for protests, there is no need for hate and anything, because everything which is not serving us anymore will just fall away, it will disappear. If we stop feeding the things which are not serving us, they will disappear. They will disappear. Most people say, yeah, you can think positively, but gov governments are still there, they are still threatening us or whatever. But because they can only exist because you're watching them, you're supporting that work. You're reading the negative news, that's why they're writing it. They're publishing it because people are interested in it. If nobody would read it or watch it, they would stop doing it. 
If people would be interested in positive news, everybody would be writing positive news, but it's not like that because people are interested in negative stuff. Because we are programmed that way. And that's the main change that we need to do. To reprogram ourselves from the past beliefs, from the past stories and create a new story which will support what we want to experience. And that's powerful. So we need to reprogram ourselves and that's not an easy thing to do again. It's not easy. We will need to invest a lot of energy in it. But I want to encourage you with that video to start doing it right now. Invest yourself, <laughs> your energy into what you want to experience. Let's build up that collective mind with more of that energy. More of that loving intention. Let's be inspired by the soul call. Let's be inspired by the nature, by intuition. Let's feel this inspiration and let's connect. That's it, my friends. I'm sending you love, power and blessings like always. Have a beautiful time and see you soon. One love.